we are really addicted to our thoughts. It's just crazy. Um, I know that I have a certain type of thoughts that I'm addicted to. And it's like uh, the situation. So I imagine a situation in my mind where I'm with someone I know and I'm trying to argue with that person and convince her that I'm right about a certain point. Normally it's about like pff, we're discussing about diet, the nature of the world, the universe, you know, that we are not this body or that our thoughts actually have an impact. Like I think that uh, I imagine like I'm having this conversation with someone and I'm trying to convince them, but I don't really care either. I'm doing it like, hey, you, you think whatever you want, you know? And, uh, but I clearly want to convince them so that they acknowledge me so that then I feel good. And so when I think this, uh, and I like visualize this and I do this all the time unconsciously during the day, I just find myself thinking about it and I'm like, wow, like for five minutes I've been thinking about it and it just feels so good. And <clears throat> Like there are certain thoughts that uh, I can stop quite easily because they feel bad. So when I worry and all that stuff, um, I can track them and stop them more easily and be like, whoa, stop thinking this, stop thinking this. And then it's all right. But sometimes I'm thinking this particular thought where I'm trying to convince someone and I know that it's all in my mind, like this setting that I'm just thinking about it. And then that I should rather visualize something useful, you know, and not trying to manipulate like how people should acknowledge me. And still, when I know that and I'm aware of it, it's kind of like the thought uh, um, draws me in and I become completely unconscious and I keep thinking about it and it feels good. And it's crazy because it's like being a junkie and uh, not being able to stop a certain drug. And, um, <clears throat> and here it's just a thought. And so I just, I just find it crazy that sometimes I'm thinking for five minutes about a situation and I'm just able to visualize it so vividly. I'm in it. Sometimes it's in the shower and I close my eyes while I'm, the while I'm in the shower and I just daydream so much and I forget about everything that's around me and I think about that and the funny thing is this is the exact thing that I want to do visualizing my dream life in the morning but I, I really struggle but for other things uh, I do it super easily and it's almost unconscious so uh, it shows me that actually um, I am able to visualize things super vividly and to forget about my reality but only when it feels super good. And so I probably have to continue like train and um, visualize my goals on a, on a daily uh, basis. And, um, and maybe also to try to choose something that really makes me feel so good that then it's nature to think about it. And uh, yeah, maybe, so my, my goal during the next month is like to really track all the thoughts that I have, which are completely useless and to stop them really to stop them while I'm, while I'm thinking them and to be like, be present, dude. And, uh, yeah. So maybe, maybe you can try to like, uh, look at your day, you know, and try to track the thoughts that you're really addicted to because I didn't even know this, that I was addicted to these thoughts. And when you're trying to use the law of attraction and uh, you're actually quite unconscious about a lot of thought patterns that you still have, then you're wondering, hey, wh why isn't this working? Well, it's because you're visualizing stuff. You're not even aware of it. And you're visualizing it like super, super good with good emotions, super vividly. And you're completely unconscious when you're doing it. And that's why then the occurrences in your life are so fucking random. It's because your thoughts are all over the place. I'm writing, I, I wrote down my thoughts this morning and they just all over the place. 
negative thoughts, positive thoughts, um, completely unconscious sometimes about like random stuff like music playing in my head that I don't even want. Like it's a complete chaos. It's crazy. But it's really funny to become aware of it because now I'm like, yeah, well, if life is a reflection of what I think, what I focus on, then it's no surprise that everything is so fucking random. My thoughts are fucking random. I have no control over it then whatsoever right now. And uh, that's why I will do this exercise of writing them down and then really consciously like stopping them or allowing them, you know, but when you're becoming conscious of them, they tend to disappear and um, to replace them with a vision, with something that I want for my life. So thanks for the thinning. <laughs>